Kevin De Bruyne was voted man of the match. He didn't have the best game on the ball, but he was fighting and he was running and he was uh, uh, yeah, tackling uh, the whole game. And that was enough for Man City today. Character and uh, mental strength, I think that was the key. For this latest trip to Etihad South, yes, that's what it becomes when City play here so much. Uh, I've been very lucky once again to have the opportunity to test drive an RRG vehicle, Toyota Rochdale. It's a CHR plug-in hybrid. It's a brand new. It's called the uh, the plug-in design CHR, and it's very good, very smooth. Uh, you've got 50 mile range on the charge up anyway, and then very good miles per gallon. A great car, so. I'm indebted to RRG, who obviously are one of my sponsors for allowing me to test drive this car down to Wembley today. But what will we find down here after the disappointment of Real Madrid in the Champions League? Hopefully, uh, City will go on to Wembley in the FA Cup final, and that will be a big game, especially if it's a derby. So let's see what people are thinking today down here at the Arch. The next station is Wembley Park. Will open on the left hand side. Change for the Metropolitan Line. Exit for Wembley National Stadium. Welcome to Wembley Park Centre. Your safety. Ortega, Stones, Aki, Kovacic. So you're expecting a bit of a different team? Then? Yeah, yeah, 100% today. This is an FA Cup semi final, though. Yeah, yeah. Alvarez up front instead of Ireland will do me today. Something different. So does that mean you're, you're saying that because you were disappointed about what happened the other night or is it uh, because you're saving plays for the Premier League or...? No, a bit, a bit of both. I, I, I think we need to have a little bit different up front today. A bit, bit more movement. A bit disappointed with Ireland in the big games. He's got to produce it, Annie for us in the big games. Aguero did, Tevez did. You know, that's how it is. City put out the sort of team you're talking about, you still think they'll, they'll win today? Yeah, yeah. No matter what team they play, I think they'll win today. Two or three nil. See how we go. Yeah, it was a tough one. I just, I would rather have lost in 90 minutes rather than going through all that and then at least we would have, I, I am, I'm not confident about it today to be honest. I'm, it'd be interesting to see what team puts out. Um, but. I just talked to a fan who suggested he might rest a few. Yeah, and yeah. Since the FA Cup semi-final. You, you know as well as I, the other night, they were dead on their feet at the end there. There was players, and if it's true about Haaland and De Bruyne asking to come off, which is what Pep said, that's not, that's not great. What, what footballer player doesn't want to play football, do you know what I mean? So, that, I can't see any of them two playing. So, yeah, I can see it being a complete opposite side to what we, like Ortega, probably Lewis, Akanji, Diaz. Bob, Bob uh, left back at Go Gomez or Ake, depending on how fit he is. Then he'll probably rest Rodri, put Kovacic in there, Nunes and De Bruyne or Foden. And then the front three will probably be Alvarez, Grealish or Doku and Bob. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not I'm not totally confident, but we'll see. We're the, we're the European champions and world champions for a reason so yeah a little bit nervous i'm more nervous today than i was on wednesday so we'll see let's hope you're misplacing your nerves i know normally winter. normally i'm proper confident but i just think after we after seeing him walk off the pitch i just thought we should have just let him win in the no, night i know we can't do that but i would rather have got beaten in the 90 minutes and then we could have smashed these and then smashed coventry in the final four in a row I hope we play better than the draws we've played this season. We we'll defend a bit better. You mean against Chelsea? Against Chelsea, yeah. I mean, we've got to learn defensively. Um, the counter-attack against Chelsea has not been brilliant this season. We need to go back to last year, where we were a rock, rock at the back. Diaz. Is your mood different today than it would have been before going out of the Champions League? Uh, I thought the Champions League Wednesday. The atmosphere in the stadium was one of the best I've witnessed for a few years. Uh, I thought the fans got behind the team, even though it weren't the, the result we wanted. I thought the fans were brilliant, especially in South Stand, where, where I was. I think uh, we need to see what the team is today, see how Pep's approaching this. But uh, I, I still think fans will be behind them today. I mean, once you're a blue, you're always a blue. Very true. Enjoy the game. Thank you very much. I'm thinking that I hope the lads aren't too tired from our exhaustions on Wednesday night. 
and they opened to stuff Chelsea and beat United in the final. But are you confident? I mean, after what happened on Wednesday, is it? I'm not confident, but there you go. I'm a City fan, and I'm not. I'm, I'm used to not being confident. Were you so. confident before Wednesday? Has the confidence yes. changed? Yes, changed. It has changed a bit since Wednesday. Yeah, only because of tiredness. But we're probably still doing. Yeah, I think we're still doing it. Yeah. I'm excited because I'm here for Toby's first trip to Wembley. So Toby, you excited? Dead yeah. excited, aren't you, mate? But uh, he's been to many City games, but he's not been to Wembley. But um, looking forward to today. It's going to be tough. As I've said before, the, t the lads are tired. Uh, but I, but they'll, they'll dig in. And I'm, I'm confident that we're going to win. Uh, it's going to be no pushover. But um, my thoughts, probably 2-1, 3-2. Uh, but no penalties and certainly no extra time. But you know, on the whole, I think we're, uh, we're up for a good performance. They always bounce back. We bounce back so well. Uh, we're like a squash ball really aren't we whenever it doesn't go quite right we always come back with a massive bounce and that's what i'm certain we'll get today from them are you worried about cole palmer who who isn't going to be worried i mean you know, I, I don't know if anybody really knows why he left some people say he wanted to go some people say different things personality clashes it's irrelevant now he's gone and he's doing very well for them uh, and i don't just mean on the penalties he's scoring goals from open play so if we don't take him seriously we'll probably wish we had done so uh, but other than other than that uh, I, I mean we all saw the penalty issue that they had the other day that doesn't bode well from the point of view of team spirit and togetherness and that's exactly what we did see with City and it wasn't it wasn't contrived when Bernie missed his penalty when Kovacic missed his penalty you could see the togetherness from the rest of the squad uh, and the backroom staff with those players we've got that and that's worth uh, that's worth an extra 10 minutes on the pitch as far as i'm concerned so yeah well happy days wembley um what, what's not to like what's not to enjoy the other night i talked to you after the real madrid game yeah and uh, here we are again a few days later and wounds have big uh, game. healed a little bit since then uh, yeah it's huge and, and like i said on wednesday night we can't let that be an excuse to lose today or lose the prem so yeah, a huge game. Um, we're obviously playing Cole Palmer, who I think is going to be the biggest threat out of all of them, which obviously is not great. But yeah, let's let's look forward to it. FA Cup semi-final again, and, and let's kick on and win these two trophies after Wednesday night as well. You get excited by an FA Cup semi-final? Yeah. Have you seen now? I'm 20 minutes down the road, so it's I, I, there's not much of a distance for me to get excited. It's not like there's a long, long out journey. The away games are the home games. So this is great. I enjoy this um, every year. And uh, coming to Wembley, I don't think a semi-final should be here. That's another de a debate to be had. But still get excited for it. Still get up for it. Still another competition to win at the end of the day. So you got nerves? Yeah, of course. Always before games. Always. It doesn't look like it. Um, but I said it in the podcast. In the vlog. Uh, yeah, sorry, in the podcast. I, I don't think they get as nervous as they used. To. I think their mentality is mental now. So. Uh, my nerves are sort of calmed by the fact they're so chilled about it. So, yeah, look forward to it. It's going to be 2 2. Cole Palmer to score a penalty. I reckon De Bruyne will score. Extra time, I reckon City will have learned their lesson. And I think they'll just see it through, take their chances compared to the game on Wednesday. And you're saying today. that as a neutral? Yes, I am. So, I think it's going to be a good game. And you're a City fan, yeah. so what do you think? Is he right Obviously, or not? Obviously, I think City will win. Yeah. Will it go to 2-2 two, two and all the rest of it, or...? Probably, yeah. yeah really? So, yeah. Mm, maybe 3-2. Two. 3-2. Two. Yeah. I hope so. Gonna be well, a listen, game. enjoy the game. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Hey, I'm in. seen a lot of talk about City being tired and like and in some ways you know they probably will be but I don't think they'll be any less tired than other games which they've had here before after Champions League games but the hope is that you know they play well the players feel confidence because they did play well I thought against Madrid and then get some goals and hopefully get a chance to win another trophy or retain their title rather at the end of the season. Chelsea can be a bit unpredictable can't they? Yeah they can be they can be but then also they, the predictability for me comes because they are a good side they attack very well they can have moments but it's about that cohesion and that's something whereby talent-wise and just mentality-wise, City have been magnificent at that for the last few years.
Well, um, half-time verdict is that um, it's an equal game, good game. I think we look a bit leaky. Not really very much to cheer about there, first half for me. Uh, didn't feel confident before the game, so I think it's what I expected. And uh, it's anyone's. Uh, it was not a high quality game. I think uh, both teams looked a little bit drained in the second half. Chelsea were not able to get hold of the ball and, uh, and Man City were the stronger team actually in the second half, even though they had many miles in the legs after the, the Champions League. So uh, not high quality game, but a, a, a fight. You, have you played in games like that where it's just about getting over the line? It was mentally today. Uh, I think it was mentally for Man City today. I was very happy to see Bernardo Silva after the tough week he's had with the penalty miss uh, that he was uh, the decisive player today and then scored the decisive goal. So it was important for him and, and I think it was quite telling for the game that uh, Kevin De Bruyne was voted man of the match. He didn't have the best game on the ball but he was fighting and he was running and he was uh, uh, yeah, tackling uh, the whole game and that was enough for Man City today. Character and uh, mental strength, I think that was the key. I'm guessing you were covering it for Danish TV, were you? Yeah, I was doing it for Danish TV. Television, so they'll yeah. be looking forward to the FA Cup final now. Yeah, it's got to be a Manchester derby again, isn't it? I was here last year for the for the Manchester derby, and that's turned out quite good. So uh, hopefully again. See you in a few weeks then. Yeah. Yes. Have a good game. The the game was great. Bernardo with a great goal, uh, deflection. But yeah, it was a really good performance. Kevin man the match. Uh, yeah, great play today. Come on, City. What was it like being at the city end for you then? Fantastic, really good. Yeah, great atmosphere, good shout. Did yeah, you believe enjoyed that it. City would win that after the struggles of midweek and the amount of energy they put into that? Yeah, we were worried. We were worried for their confidence, but they did well. They they put they came through. Especially Chelsea Bernardo. in fairness though. Chelsea in fairness. Yeah, they were good. Played well. And now it yeah. could be a Manchester yeah. derby again, couldn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, in the final. Come on, City! Uh, we played well. We, Absolutely amazing. We kicked the ball in the goal. So he's understating yeah. it then when he says we played well very casually. You uh, think they were brilliant. We kicked the ball in the goal. Banana Silva. Uh, and we played well. And you've Thank got you. a banana to show for your efforts. We have got a banana. Two bananas. <laughs> Wonderful. A cup final now to look forward to. I know. Playing Coventry as well. <laughs> see? See what it does? Like that. <laughs> we was edgy. Um, we struggled a bit. Leggy from Wednesday night was understandable. Quite a few players off the game. Um, changed when Doku came on. I thought Doku was excellent. Keeper saved us. I thought he was. I hope they got Kevin as man of the match. I'm not sure. But yeah, we got there. We got the result in the end. And after Wednesday night, that's all that matters, isn't it? Be honest, before the game, were you, was, were you confident? No, I wasn't. Not at all. I wasn't confident at all. I thought, I thought we'd struggle after what happened on Wednesday night. It took a lot out of us, extra time and, and penalties, and to lose that way, I thought, yeah. But uh, we did it. Something now, special about this group of players, uh, isn't there? You can see that at the end, what it meant to him, couldn't you? It really meant a lot. And Pep, at the end, and I don't know whether you see his press conference, he's just had a had a real dig about the, the schedule. We shouldn't, have been, we shouldn't have been playing today. We should have been playing tomorrow. No, no ifs and buts about it. But come on, Coventry. Very happy about that. I think um, well, thank you Chelsea gave it the first half. Um, we gave the ball away a lot. We looked really tired in the first half, but as predicted. The second half, they really upped it. Uh, after a couple of um, good saves by Ortega, um, really happy out. De Bruyne found a found uh, a new another second wind is what I'm looking for. Was it a third wind? 
and um, Doku made a difference when he came on. Though really, she was doing well. I felt a bit sorry for him when he got when, when he went off. Hopefully, that's nothing too serious because we need him for controlling games. But Doku looks back on it again, and I'm so pleased for Bernardo after Wednesday. So pleased because um, that penalty, you try those, and we, when they don't come off. But today, for him, he, my son said he, he was always going to be the hero, and he was proved right. So, so happy, yeah. Let's go back to Wembley and um, have a, either an all sky blue final or let's do it together with them. Thank you. <laughs> back to you. So, I'll be back again for another FA Cup final at the end of May. Uh, that was an exhausting game to watch, and especially when I've got a lot of police horses to walk in towards me now. Uh, thanks once again to RRG Group, particularly Toyo to Rochdale for supplying that fantastic CHR plug-in hybrid which I drove down in today. Really appreciate that. Also to, coincidentally, motoringoffencelawyers.com, who are Kenway Miller. Uh, and so obviously, um, not that I will, but if I was in some trouble with my motoring on the way back, they'd be the people I'd call and I'd recommend the same for you. And thanks very much to Timson too. So, for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll be down at Brighton on Thursday. It never ends at the moment. But the story from Wembley, from underneath the arch, is that City somehow have got over the line and done it again. They are some team, some club. You know what? It's great to be a blue.